Bird Marshal Kathy McDonald leading the horses to the post. Race number seven. Claiming stallions and geldings. Racing one mile. Number one is Porky's Revenge. Owned and trained by Alex Benson Jr. of Grove City. Jeff out the driver. Number two, Casey's Skyfire, owned by Jewel Freshour, Charles, and Billy Wingfield of Ohio. Brad Creech trains, Dave Miller drives. Three Dance Craze, owned by Bill Lambeth of Columbus, Jimmy Majeski, the trainer, Dave Majeski driving. The four is Brock Buster, owned, trained, and driven by Jane Goverick of Lexington. Five, James Owen Tudor, laced by Robert Zink of Ohio, Tommy Smith, the uh, trainer, Eric Ludford. In the bike. The 6HR sculpture owned by Roy Murphy and Kelly Gillis of Solana. Roy Murphy trains with Larry Stolbaum. Seven, one by a hair. Owned and trained by Tim Williamson of Pleasant Plain, Donner Von Jr. The eight, Color of Fortune, owned by Clara Young of Springfield. Darren Mauser, the trainer and a driver. And from post nine, JD's handsome son, owned by Robert Lowry and Keith Noble of Columbus and Dublin. Rocky Stidham is the trainer and the driver. One play show, trifecta twin. Seventh race, Stallions and Gilding. Salton behind the gate on the back stretch. There they go. And uh, they're all off. And uh, first away, it's the five. James Owen Tudor. James Owen Tudor away briskly for the lead from the far outside. Here comes JD's handsome son. And from between horses, it's the six HR sculptured. And the three of them slugging it out early. On the inside and racing in the fourth, Dance Craze angling in the five comes Color Our Fortune. Two lengths in sixth, Porky's Revenge. Another two lengths, seventh, Casey Skyfire. For the back in eighth, it's Bronk Buster, the early trailer ninth. One by a hair, opening quarter 28 and two. Out of the outside, HR Sculptured wants that lead, but of the inside and battling back gamely. It's James Owen Tudor, and James Owen Tudor will string him out here. On the outside, HR Sculptured won't get the job done. He has a lead, but is part. James Owen Tudor to the inside is second, and JD's handsome son will benefit from the battle on the front. He has live cover. He's racing third. Out to the rail is Dance Craze, and right there with the inside five, Color Our Fortune to the outside and sixth, Porky's Revenge tightly packed here past the half, 58 and four. James Owen Tudor has put away HR Sculptured as he goes right back to the pack. Out of the outside, here comes JD's handsome son, and JD's handsome son tries his best for the lead. The the outside racing with cover now it's Porky's Revenge and at the rail Dance Craze is fourth Color of Fortune is buried at the rail in fifth to the outside third over in sixth it's Casey Skyfire they're at the three quarters 128 and two as he round the final turn and James Owen Tudor quickly opens up on this field he opens up by four on the inside of second Porky's Revenge and at the rail is Dance Craze Color of Fortune with racing room now angles of the outside they've lost on a 16th ago and with the lead it's James Owen Tudor, and he has fought off all the challengers. He's home free here. It's James Owen Tudor, Porky's Revenge, getting up for second. Color our fortune third, and Bronk Buster up for fourth. 158. The unofficial winner of the seventh number five, James Owen Tudor, an eight year old son of Ombro Belmont from the New Deal mare, New Deal's Luck. Laced by Robert Zink of Ohio, Tommy Smith trains Eric Lenford in the Sonke. James Owen Tudor recording his very first of the season. Tonight's mile 158. The 518 trifecta, $593.20. 59320. No winners in the twin try. Carryover, $1,528.